Hey everyone, um, YouTube land, uh, people out there, how are, how, oh, that really sounded good. How are you doing? Um, I hope everything is well on your side of the, uh, of the world and everywhere. And, uh, I hope your weeks have been going good. I know it's been a while since I did a video. Um, well, let's see. Um, a couple things. Um, uh, I am down to two days a week for doing taxes. Uh, well, I don't do taxes. I mean, I'm a file clerk, so I basically, you know, two days a week now. And so that's going to give me a little, like I said, it's going to give me a little leeway. So I'll be able to do, do things. Um, I hope you guys like my Monty Python. Um, I, I did the intermission because when they when they did that live uh uh one down and five to go their last performance at the um oh what was that place but it's in england um and uh and i thought it would be funny to put an intermission for a video and um so that's what I did. I hope you guys enjoyed my videos. Um, I'm going to try to do some more. I know it's been a while. Um, I hope you've been visiting my Instagram page. Um, I've been putting lots of poetry on there. I have been posting a few pictures here and there. Um, okay. Uh, there's a few things. Um, I finally did get to see a man called Otto with Tom Hanks. It was very, very good. Um, it was sad, but it was very, very good. Um, it was very interesting to see a man with a big heart that he failed a health test to go in the services. So he wasn't, and then he met his wife. They had, a, they were going to have a child. They were going somewhere and they lost the child. And, um, he, his wife passed away from cancer, I think it was. And then people moved in, in the neighborhood. And they... They really cared about him and they took care of him. They treated him he, like he was family. And there was a cat and the cat was adorable in that, in that movie, just adorable. Tom Hanks was really good with that cat. Um, but it was a very, very good movie. And it is on Netflix. It's on Netflix, and I've been wanting to see it for so long, and I'm glad I got to see it. So, and there's quite a few of them out there that are very, very good. Um, Amazon's got a quite few of them out. Um, yeah. So when I think of them, I will let you know. And uh, there's some David Tennant news going on. We uh, there is a. A, uh, tra a new Doctor Who trailer out um, previewing uh, three of the episodes that uh, Russell T. Davis wrote for um, uh, for Doctor Who's 60th in November. So that's good. Um, and um, there is a uh, production uh, called Hill, uh, Hillywood Productions. They're on YouTube and they do parodies. And sorry, my nose is going crazy on me. Um, Good Omens, they did Good Omens parody. And, um, 
it is very, very good. It's on YouTube, so you can see it. And uh, Neil Gaiman is in it, and two people from the original series. A nun, a lady who played a nun, and the person who played a father to Adam. And uh, they did a very good job on it, and they actually have other parodies. Uh, Sherlock parody, uh, Supernatural, Strange Things, um, many, many more. You have to look that up on YouTube. It's pretty good. And um, let's see. David Tennant did a... He promoted um, awareness for um, Headway. Headway Essex for people who have brain damage. Um, you find a hat and wear it to show your um, appreciation for Headway Essex for people who have brain damage and the people who can help them and treat them and take care of them. And that's one thing to look for. Um, oh, he was at the BAFTAs in England on Sunday night. He looked very nice in that blue suit. And three other people from Doctor Who, Catherine Tate, Billy Piper, and Freema were all there. And um, yeah, so, and there's pictures of that um, all over the internet. I've seen that. And there's the other things I wanted to mention. I can't place it right now. But he was filming something for, I think it's Disney, I think. Um, I don't know if he's still doing it. Um, I'm not sure exactly what's going on. I'm, he's got other things going on. Oh, yes, Macbeth. Um, he did the radio play Macbeth twice. But he was not Macbeth the first time. He was a different character in the first one years ago. And the second one, he played Macbeth on the radio, which was recent. I think it was last year. It was very, very good. It was very, very good. And found out that Cush Jumbo is going to be a part of that production this fall in Macbeth. It's going to be interesting. I would love to see it. Um... I sort of understand it. I sort of understand Macbeth. But Shakespeare's, Shakespeare's always complicated in some aspects. Because it's like, you think you know. But do you know Shakespeare? Because, um, like I've mentioned once before, I, I, I did it on Instagram that I mentioned that I did see Mel Gibson's Hamlet years ago. And I was a kid. And my mom's like, you know, because when you're, when you're raised with having learning disabilities, your family tends to say, um, I don't think you people understand it. You know, I don't think you should watch it. I did. Loved it. Um, but then I saw Much Do About Nothing with Kenneth Branagh and Emma Thompson, Richard Breyers. Denzel Washington, uh, Michael Keaton, and, um, oh, what's his name? Um, cause he did Thin Blue Line. Can't remember. Oh, Ben Elton. Ben Elton. And many, oh, Keanu Reeves is in there. Um, and Emma Thompson, Emma Thompson's mom. Uh, it's just a lovely, lovely um, movie. And David Tennant did Much Ado About Nothing radio play years ago with Samantha Sparrow. And then he did Much Ado About Nothing on stage with Catherine Tate. So it's very good. And he also did, um, was it Twelfth Night? Yeah, I think it was called Twelfth Night or As You Will or something like that. And he played Malvolio in that one. You kind of feel bad for Malvolio because it's, you know, he thinks his mistress is, you know, in love with him. 
because he thought he was in love with her, but it didn't work out. And then he got betrayed by a servant girl and the uncle, and they put him in darkness, and poor guy. You, know, you feel kind of bad for him, and David Tennant did a really good job in that. And just you just you just wonder how you can do that on radio. You wonder how they can do that for radio. And um, so, yeah, it's quite interesting, actually. And um, so it's something to look forward to this fall. I, I wish I could go. I would love to cheer David Tennant on in England and say I'm here. I would love to see you. Um, stuff like that. So, um, but, um, yeah, I'm trying to think of other things that are going on. Um, not much. I'm starting to walk. So, you know, when we had our last concert for McDowell, my, you know, my husband had his last concert. I decided to walk home because we were at a place, um, that, um, it was crowded and I'm claustrophobic and I have, uh, anxiety issues. So basically, uh, it took a toll on me after a bit. I'm like, yeah, I'm going to go. And, and thank goodness that it was really close to my house. Like, maybe, I want to say four or five, six blocks away. Like, not even a mile away from my house. So, I decided to walk home. And then on my way home, I met this lady. Um, and her is Marlissa. She's a sweet, sweet lady. And I went to visit her. She invited me to visit her, and I went to her house just last night. I walked over there, and so I'm going to be walking. I'm going to try to start walking and get better, and so, and she's on my list of walking, so, and she wasn't there last Saturday, so I'm kind of disappointed, so I'm hoping that this Saturday that I might be able to do that, and I am going out with one of my coworkers, uh, this Thursday for lunch. Sushi. Um, there is actual, you can, if they, I don't know if they'll have a vegetarian option. Because I, I try not to eat raw meat uh, or raw fish. I, if it's cooked, I'll eat it. But um, there's actual uh, vegetable sushi out there a vegetarian option. So I'm hoping they'll have it. And they, they, there are places that have imitation seafood. So it'd be something, something to do. And, um, and I am on a cleaning kick in my house. So I'm hoping to accomplish to get all my unpacking done. That has been two years waiting two years, two years of waiting. Um, so yeah, and I'm probably over my limit of talking and you're probably going to get bored of me. Um, but, uh, yeah. So, and I'm going to try to, um, oh yes, there was a special, one more thing. I don't know about one more thing, but there, uh, it's on Netflix. John Mulaney. Uh, he did a stand up, uh, uh, hour or so. And he talked about him on a, on a, he was, he was doing cocaine. I couldn't get over that. And, um, but the way he talked about it, um, it you just want to be thankful that people helped him to break it, to get him to not do it. 
um, I would recommend watching him. Um, John Mulaney on Netflix. He seems a bit milder, too. He's a bit, a bit calmer. Yeah. And, you know, his, you know, him talking about it, you know, in a very funny way. But it was a, it's a serious, you know, situation. But the way he talked about it, um, yeah, that was very good. So with that, um, I will try to do more videos. Um, I'm going to see if I can do some shows that I have, I've been wanting to do camping. I just haven't really found the right time to do it. I still want to do it though because there's some scenes in camping that I really really like with David Tennant and Jennifer Garner it is very very good so but in the meantime um, enjoy your days and please subscribe if you can um, and help me out um, if you like me great um, so you can help me along here um, and, and, and help me figure out, you know, what content to put out there, um, what you guys would like to see. Um, I know, uh, I, I do like watching Doctor Who and, um, David Tennant things and other movies that are very, very good. And, um, I am a movie buff and I do love romance. So, um, so and look me up on Instagram. I do have a few poems on there. Um, and I am on Facebook, but I, you know, I haven't really done anything. You know, I, I don't know if I should put up, um, my blogging video on Facebook yet. I might just do that. I don't know. Um, but anyway, uh, have a great week, everyone. Enjoy your days. Enjoy the sunshine, uh, wherever you are. Enjoy your good weather. And take care. Love every single one of you. And take care of the elderly. They do need it. Alright everyone. Take care. Love ya.